So we're going to talk about quantum numbers. And this is strongly related to the periodic table. So first one, it's called, so this is the N, the L, the M, L, and the M. S. Okay. So N is the principal, principal quantum number. And N give you the, let me change the color here. N give you the energy. So if the N is smaller, your energy is lower, right? So the low N means low energy for that electron, right? So this quantum number are associated with electron. Each set associates one individual electron. So that's N and it's called energy, right? And it's called principal quantum number. Second one, this L. So L it's called angular momentum quantum number. L it's called angular momentum quantum number. So L give you the, the shape the shape of the orbit. So this one give you the shape. And it seems like it also determine the, the magnitude of the angular momentum. The magnitude of angular momentum. And this one, so N determine the energy, right? And this one is angular momentum, magnitude, and the shape. So this one here, it's including energy, but it's also the, this is also called the different shell, right? So this is shell. So let me write it down here, this is shell. And this one called sub shell. Okay, for the, for the L. And this one here is the orbital. And this one is called spin. So spin quantum number. So L So N, let's say when N is equal to zero, oh there's no zero, it's one, right? N is equal to one. And so this L can be so L will be, let's see, L is zero to one up to N minus one, right? So in here, N is one, so this one here means it can only be zero. So L now is zero now, okay? And for ML, ML can only be minus L, to zero and then to L, right? So in this case, L is zero. So this one can also only be zero. And spin can be positive one, positive one half and negative one half, right? So we'll start with positive one half first, okay? So this one here is our hydrogen. So atomic number is one. And this is our electron configuration. So this one is a one S one. So there's only one electron in the hydrogen 
atom. And so that's the one. And then the next one is the helium, right? So helium atomic number is two. And so for this one here, N is still at one, right? So remember in the periodic table, you have hydrogen here and you have helium there. And this is called N equal to one, right? And then here, you have N equal to two, right? So this is your N number right there. And that indicate your energy level and that's N equal to three. And just, you know, this is your periodic table here, right? This is the periodic table. And then you have, you keep going, right? With all the different ends. So there's N equal to four. So that's your N right there. The, the lower, right? The lower here that was N, larger N, the energy is higher than, than the top. So for helium, N is equal to one. And when N equal to one, this L again is zero, one to N minus one. So one minus one is zero again, right? And this one here is minus L to, you know, minus and keep going until zero and then keep going until L. So L is zero, so this is zero again. And spin is one, one half or minus one half. So this is minus one half. And so this one here is one S two, right? So in the, in in the uh, shell right in this shell one and then you have these two electrons right so in the helium you have two electrons one has this set right and then the other one has that set there right so and in hydrogen only have one electron and that's the one but helium has two you have this one here and the that one there Let's move on to the atomic number three, which is uh, lithium, right? So lithium is three, and then your shell now is equal to two, and then your L is equal to two. So N is two, so zero, and then two minus one, so it's one. So you can have zero or one. So you started out with zero first for the L, and then ML here, uh, L is only zero, right? Only zero in this case. So then zero, let's say N is two, N is two. So this one can only go up to one, right? So L can only go up to one. And this, so this one is one. So we started out with minus one here, minus one here, right? Okay, so N is two. 2 minus 1, so it's 1. So this one is 0 and 1. So we start with 0, and this one here is 1. So then we start out with minus 1, 0, and 1, right? So here, we just say that n is equal to 2. n is equal to 2. So L, L can go up to n minus 1. So L can go up to, so L can be 0 and 1, right? So here we start with zero, L equal to zero. And now L can be zero and one. Oh, we start with zero first, right? So L, so this one here, oh, start with minus one first, right? So minus one and you have one half. And you have one S2 and then two S1, okay? So you are in the, this one here is in the, in the N2. So this is shell, the, the second shell, right? The next one, what's that one there? That one is called Be, right? And that one is four. And the shell number is two, right? Okay. So, and this one here is two. So N is two. So still L is, can be zero or one. So 
This one is one half, so we have one more to go. So this one's still zero and minus one still because this one ml can be can be because uh, l is zero and one, right? So l is equal to zero. L is equal to zero. Oh, wait, wait, wait. L is equal to zero, so this one can only be zero. I'm sorry, right? So this one can only be zero because L is equal to zero, right? So then this one here is minus one half, and this one's one S2 and two S2, okay? And we'll keep going. And this one here is B, okay? And that's atomic number five. And this one here still at the at the at the n equal to two, right? So we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So total we have eight different atoms here, right? And we have two atoms on this row here. So this one here is L is equal to zero, and this is n is still, so this is the third one now, so we are right there now. Right, so we are right here, right? This is one, two, three, four, atomic number, and this is five. We are right there now, right? So this one here is L equal to, so L can be zero, one, and we have zero already, we finished zero, so now we have one now. So we're gonna go to one, one, right? So ML is then equal to minus L, right? So then. This one here is one, so you can start with minus one now, right? So this one is minus one, and we start with positive half first, right? So, so a spin can be one half or minus one half. So now this one here is one, S2, and then two, S2, and then two, P1, okay? All right? And next one, we'll do one more, okay? Next one is called carbon right carbon six and this one n is still two and let's continue here how are we doing right so this one here is uh, n is two so l can go up to one so zero zero here one more one right so one another one and this one here is still negative one because you have one half but you still have another Make it one half, right? So the front should be the same, and only this one will differ, right? So then this one here will be one S2, and then two S2, and then two P2, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm not gonna continue. Um, so we have, um, we have four more in this uh, N equal to two, and you continue to N equal to three and four, and that's become too tedious. So this one here determining uh, the shape, right? So so L L can be uh, can be you know different shape, right? Like that, and can be a circular, right? Okay. And then this uh, M here, the M L, it's called um, uh, magnetic. It's called magnetic quantum number, okay? also called magnetic quantum number, magnetic quantum number. So this one here determining, like let's say if you have this one here, then it can be going this way in the, in the Y direction, and it can be going in the X direction. It's going, sorry, going this way, right? In the, in the X direction, and it can be going this way in the Z direction, right? In the Z direction, right? So this one here determining the angular momentum's direction, right? So this ML determining, let me change in color here. This ML here determining the angular momentum direction. Okay? And L determining the angular momentum's direction, right? The magnitude, right? Magnitude, this one here. And this one here determining the energy level, right? Okay, so that's where we're gonna stop uh, for this uh, quantum number. Important thing to remember is there are four quantum number and they are N, L, ML, and then MS.
N is called principal. L is called angular momentum quantum number. ML is called magnetic quantum number. And MS is called spin quantum number. And this one here can be one, two, and this one here can be zero, one, up to M minus one. And this one here is going from minus L to L. It's only integer number. Okay, but this one here, there's no zero. And this one here can be only one half and the minus one half. So the process is tedious as you're listing this electron configuration on all these uh, different numbers. But you get the idea, all right? We're gonna stop there. Keep watching. Thank you.